In this video, we are going to create an ASP.NET Core Web API application with CRUD operations. I am using .NET 9, Dapper and Postgres as a database. And I am running the Postgres instance in the Docker. For this tutorial, I am using .NET CLI and VS Code so everyone can follow the tutorial irrespective of the operating system. You can find the source code on my GitHub repo. Link is available in the description box. First and foremost, let's create a new project. Open the terminal and change your directory to the desired location. Now follow these commands to create the project. With this command, a new solution file named dapper progress demo is created in a directory with the same name. Now we will visit to this directory with the command cd dapper postgres demo and this command creates a new web api project name dapper postgres demo dot api use controllers flag sets this project as a controller apis otherwise this project will be created as a minimal apis Now we need to register this project in the solution file. Use this command to do so. Type code dot and this project will be opened in the Visual Studio code. To follow along this tutorial, you need to install an extension named C Sharp Dev Kit. Now you will notice that we have another tab named solution explorer below expand the tab it might take a while to appear and load the project so do not worry if you don't see this tab immediately open the app settings.json and define the connection string here host will be localhost port is 5432 which is default port for postgres Database is person DB which we will create later and adjust the username and password according to your database configuration. To interact with Postgres, I have installed this extension. You might have different ways to do it. Maybe you are using different extension or you might be using a GUI application or you might be using a plain CLI. That does not matter. Uh, this step might be different for you. First, I'm going to open its terminal and create a database named person DB. Now, if we refresh it, the database will be appeared here. Now we will write a query to create a table. Follow this query to create a table named person. Our database related stuff is done. I personally use light mode, but for tutorials I prefer dark mode which is more suitable for the tutorials. And I forgot to switch the dark mode which I am going to do now. So you will be seeing dark mode for the rest of the tutorial. Now create a new folder and name it models. In this folder, create a new class named person. Add the properties ID, name and email to it. Within the models folder, create a new folder named DTOs. Now you might be thinking what is DTO? So if you are not aware of DTO, DTO is a data transfer object. Let's understand it with example. A user interact through the web APIs. Suppose we have an endpoint which creates a new person. For creating a new person, we need to pass the name and email, but we do not need to pass the field ID since it is generated automatically. We also need to validate the name and email for that we will create a separate class. For updating the person, we need all the fields and validations. We will create a new DTO class for update. 
for displaying the person we will also create a new DTO class which is not necessary in our case because we are returning all the fields of the user table there might be a situation where you might want to hide some fields from the user then creating a DTO class for display will be important within the DTO folder create a new class named person create DTO which will contain properties named name and email add an attribute required and max length to the name do the same to the email but email will have one more attribute named email address and it is called data annotation it is a easy way to validate our models now name and email can't be null and can't exceed 30 characters and email must be valid email address so these are the validation rules for person create DTO now create a new class named person update DTO along with name and email we will have one more property named ID create another class person display DTO which will have the same fields as the previous class but without validation rules now open the integrated terminal visit the directory named dapper postgres demo dot api and type dot net add package dapper to install the package name dapper type dot net add package npg sql which will install this package now create a folder named mappers where we will create some mappers mappers to convert our domain object to dto's and vice versa within the folder create a class named person mapper this class will be static class create a new extension named to person which will convert the person create dto object to person object create another extension method named to person which will convert the person update dto object to the person object create another extension method named to person display which will convert the person object to the person display object create a folder named repositories within a repositories folder create a new interface named i person repository and add the following method definition for it these are the methods to create a person update a person delete a person get all the person records and get person by id since all the methods are async so i am appending a term async to each method which is a basic naming convention for the async methods now create a new class named person repository to the repositories folder and implement the i repositories to it click on the text i person repository press control and the dot symbol and select the option implement interface create a private read only string field name connection string and another private read only field config of type i configuration now create a constructor and inject the i configuration service to it retrieve the connection string from config.configuration method and pass a string named default make sure this value should match the key of connection string defined in the app settings now we will work on create person async method create a new connection the term using means we are taking care of disposing the connection automatically In this line we are inserting a record and fetching the newly created id from the database we are storing that id in the created id update the id of person object and return the person object let's work on the update person async method we will pass the update query 
to the connection execute async method. At the end, we will return the person object. Similarly, we will work on the delete person async method. Now let's work on get all person async. Create a connection, call the connection dot query async method and pass the query to retrieve all people from the database and return it. Similarly, we can retrieve the single person by id so replace query async to the query first or default async and update the query according to the single user now we are done with repository now we need to register i person repository so that we can use it as a dependency injection create a new api controller named people controller through the constructor injection, inject the iPerson repository. Create a HTTP POST method named createPerson, which will take an argument of type person create TTO. Create a try catch block. In the catch block, we will return 500 status code along with the exception message. In the try block, call the person repository dot create person async method, which takes a parameter of type person. So we need to convert the person create DT object to the person object. Return created action where we are passing three parameters. First will first will be the name of route another one is route parameter and the last one is the created resource which is person in our case we are converting the person object to the person display dto before sending it to the user since we do not have the method named get person by id async so we will create one which takes an argument named id of the integer type. It will be a get method with following template and name will be get person by id async. Now we will implement this method. First find the person. If person is null, then return not found along with the message else return the person along with the ok method now create a put method and name it update person async which takes two parameters id and person update dto object put a try catch block and speaking of try catch block i forgot to put try catch block in the previous method so i'm going to add it now and catch block will be same in all the methods if id in the route and in the object does not match we return the bad request now we will find the existing person with the given id if existing person is null return the not found Now call the update person async method and return no content. Now implement the delete person async method. Find the existing person with the given ID. If existing person is null, return the not found. Call the delete person async method and return no content. Create the get people method.
call the get people async method and store it in the people variable return the ok object with the people object run the project with the command dot net run our application is listening at this url and port open the postman or any http client like insomnia or whatever you like enter the following endpoint right now we do not have any records so we are getting the empty array so we are going to create a new record so create the new post request with the following body and i'm getting error let's find out the error it should be created at root instead instead of created created at action now we can see the records here we can also get the record with id 2 and for the id 1 and 2 we are getting the same records so we need to modify the query and we are fine now let's try to update the record and test various conditions like id mismatch or not found let's test the delete message i have noticed that we are not able to delete any record so let's try to find out the error and here in the repository we have this query which is problematic so we are going to update this query these queries were written by ai copilot and which were wrong and i did not notice it at that time so that's the problem with ai in few occasions and that's fine okay now let's test this again and we are fine now so that's it for now see you next time